Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are making an adorable Valentine's centerpiece. It is a decomesh centerpiece and I'm using the curly method. I don't use this method very often but for this it works out perfect. It makes for this very cute, very elegant, very fluffy centerpiece and I only used two rolls. No kidding. This whole centerpiece cost me six dollars not including the candle the candle you can either use what you have at home you can grab on the dollar tree this particular one is from costco it was in a set of five candles that i got on sale at the end of the day it's all about the budget for me can you imagine this at a wedding or wedding shower baby shower a birthday at a table centerpiece for any occasion that you like for only six bucks this is so much fun and without further ado, I hope you join me for this video. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to DIY with Nadia, where I share lots of centerpieces and wreaths. Let's get started. To get started on our centerpiece, I'm going to be using rolls of deco mesh. I have this beautiful pink one and two white ones, and these are from the Dollar Tree. And then we are going to be using one of these rings. They come in a set of two from the Dollar Tree. They are eight inches in diameter or 20.3 centimeters. And then you're also going to need some chenille stems or pipe cleaners. For your pipe cleaners, you can either cut them in half and it'll give you six inch strips or in thirds, which will give you four inch strips. I like to do four inches because I don't like to mess with a lot of wire in the back of my wreath. The Dollar Tree Decomesh is six inches by five yards in length. So today I'm going to be cutting them in eight inch strips. And just to kind of test out the waters here, I'm going to curl it. It gives it such a tight curl and I feel like it's going to fray less when you do it a little longer. To hold my curl together, I'm just going to use one of these clips and they come in a pack of six from the Dollar Tree. I'm done cutting up my white deco mesh roll. I'm just going to be using one roll white, one roll pink, and this one roll made 23 strips at eight inches each. Now I'm going to start cutting up my pink one. The basic method of doing a curly wreath is you get three curls, bundle them together, and you put them on your wreath form. If you're using three different colors, just grab one of each color and bundle it up. With the same color, it's pretty obvious what you do. In our case, we are using two colors, which means we're going to do pink, pink, white, and then we're going to do white, one, pink. And then I'm going to continue doing that pink, pink, white, 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 pink, back and forth. To put these together is pretty simple. Roll the way you want your curl to roll, so either a little tighter or a little looser. Bring it together with the clamp. I sometimes just put it in between my fingers instead of using the clamp, but that's all right. We're just going to be using a clamp in this case. And then there's another one. And here's a white one. There you go. Whichever color I have one of, that's the one that's going to go in the middle. So I have one of this one. Then this one I'm going to crisscross it with. And then I'm going to put the second color on the other side, kind of making a little snowflake. And there you go. These two are crossing and this one is in the middle. Then bring it together. Grab our pipe cleaner, fold it in half, bring it around, fold it in half. This will give you the tightest way to uh, connect it and you are done with your little bundle. Next, we're going to do white, white, pink. So we got the white one, then the one that's one of is going to go on top of it. Then on top of that, the other white one is going to crisscross it. 
and there you go so white pink and then white again and we're going to kind of just crunch it together grab our pipe cleaner put it around then I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of pull it up from the bottom here and I'm going to give it two twists this is going to give it a nice tight hold and there you go I'm done making all my bundles and all together I have 14 bundles seven of each which is nice because we're just going to do every other as we're going down the wreath here and our wreath is divided into three which means we're going to have five five and four but trust me it's not going to be noticeable and this is going to be a beautiful beautiful centerpiece all right and as i said we're going to go every other and this is the reason i do short pipe cleaners here in the back i'm going to give it a few twists fold it over and fold it back and that's it then we got pink pink white here and then we're going to do white white pink again and so forth and so on as you can see in the back i attached my bundles in row two if I was making this as a wreath, I would definitely use another roll of deco mesh. This is not enough for a wreath. For a centerpiece, it's fine because we're also filling it in with a little bit of ribbon. It's going to be flat. It's going to have a candle in the middle. It's going to look really, really well and it's plenty because as a centerpiece, you're not looking at it from top down. You're looking at it from the sides and you will see that it's more than enough as a centerpiece to use only two rolls of the deco mesh. And now for the ribbon, I'm going to be using a gray, this polka dot white and this light pink. The pink one is a fray and this other one is um, floral garden, but they all are from the Dollar Tree and they're all grow grain ribbon. For a ribbon, I'm going to be cutting it into eight inch strips and you can either do it separately like that or the way I like to do it is just measure off eight inches and just kind of go up and down like this. Or you could have a board that's eight inches and you could go around the board. You could definitely do that. Now all my ribbon is cut up. I'm going to just sit back relax and make some dovetails just folding them in half and cutting off a little triangle there now it's time to make a ribbon bundles i'm just grabbing the ribbon laying it over each other here a pipe cleaner that's four inches long just like the pipe cleaners we used for our bundles here and i like to fold it in half even it out if i have to Let's see here. Everything seems good. The pink one maybe a little bit there. And then just giving it two twists in the back. And this is going to be ready to go right on the wreath form. When I cut up the ribbon, I got 13 strips each. Now that I got my ribbon bundles all ready, I'm going to go in between our little bundles right here and attach the ribbons same thing a few twists in the back then I'm going to fold it in half and then back when they all fill in it's going to be easier to spread it out and it's going to be so pretty all of the ribbon bundles are in and because we only had 13 of those and 14 of the decomage bundles we are missing one little one right here but you know what it's not going to be a problem after you open all of these up and just spread them out it's not even going to be noticeable it's just going to blend in and look beautiful and all i'm doing here is just spreading them out putting them in between here and there and you're not even able to tell where the two bundles are that are missing a ribbon in between them because you just kind of spread them out 
to put the candle in i like to put it always from the top that way all of this decor kind of opens up so i just put it straight over the candle and as you can see just pushes out and there you go we have our beautiful valentine's centerpiece with the candle let's say it's seven dollars but just the wreath itself just the actual centerpiece wreath it's only six dollars <music> 